Hello everyone, Ruben here at Cooley Labs and today we will be taking a quick look at Soulflare. Soulflare is a Solana wallet that is available on web, iOS, and Google Play. We have the Pixel 6 on the left running the Android version and the iOS is on the right utilizing the iPad Pro. Both environments have the same icon, so let's go ahead and click to get started. Soulflare will start you off like almost every wallet does and that is with the ability to create, new, or restore. For now we're going to create new. The creating new path is nothing different here. It gives you a 12 word mnemonic to back up the wallet and of course it will tell you how important this information is. And it is. You can and should write this down and confirm it or you can skip it. For us we will skip it because I want to show you two things that are different about Soulflare. So I skip this, it's going to go through my phrase and I'll skip this. We'll also skip creating a new passcode. And now it's going to ask me to create some notifications, I'm going to say not now. Now the interesting thing is I've skipped everything for backing up and if I go ahead and I close this app and I reopen it, it will give me a five second timer every time asking me to back this up. I can't determine if this is genius or annoying. While this is great for newbies who may not understand the importance of doing such, it could be annoying for some of us. Let's go ahead and skip again for now. Another interesting thing is that the app will not let you log out of the account until you have backed it up. So if I come down to log out, it's going to tell me to back up now. Now what I did is I went ahead and reopened the app and imported a new account. As is typical, it would just ask you to enter a 12 word or 24 word recovery phrase. I did not share this because that should be kept private and I want to keep to that principle. We will go ahead now and open this on iOS also. And you can see one of my small annoyances here, and that is on the iPad Pro, even in the portrait view, it does not fill the screen. Over here on the bottom right, you see this little arrow to make it bigger. You think it'll fill the screen, but it doesn't. It just gets smaller. So if we look at the Solana interface, we can see that it has all the basic features that a wallet should require. It has buy, receive, and send. To me, these are the three most important functions of a wallet. You need to be able to buy the asset that you're looking for, which in this case would be sold. You also need to be able to receive and send it. Now when you have any account up here, we can see that you have the assets tab and the staking tab. Staking on Solana provides you with the ability to get rewards and you can stake right through the Soulflare wallet. Under the assets tab, we have our current assets. All I have is Solana, but you could go ahead and add a bunch of different assets if you wish. Now the Solana network is like the Algorand network in the sense that you nobody can uh, send you an asset without your permission. That is, you have to opt into an asset. Down at the bottom, we have an interesting perspective here. On the Android, we have five icons, and this is a smaller screen. And on an iPad Pro, we only have four. This is very interesting to me, and I don't know why this is like this. So the if we click on the second icon on the bottom, you can see that you have your collectibles. If I had any, any NFTs, it would show it right here and it would give it a picture. It's very nice. I also have the ability to swap tokens. I like the screen. I like the ability that they include it right here in the Soulflare app. You can go ahead and you can search a text ID, public key, or any term. This just takes you to a blockchain explorer. It's very nice. And then we have all of our basic settings, including security, general, notifications, and support. The support setting is one that's really interesting to me. It connects you to somebody that's available to talk to you in a live chat. I have not seen this on any other wallet. I have tried it too, and it works really well. Somebody is available usually within just a few minutes. The last thing I would like to cover today with the Soulflare is a page that I do have to be critical of, and that is this page, which is essentially the accounts page. And the problem I have here, you may notice on your own if you have watched any of my prior videos, and that's the terminology is really poor. Right here it says select account and it named my account wallet one. But this actually isn't a wallet. What this is, is this an account? You see, Solana is an account based network. With BTC, the term account is used synonymously with wallet, even though it probably shouldn't be. Yet on Solana, the two terms are clearly different. A wallet stores accounts. Accounts are tied to public addresses, which are generated from public keys. These accounts are persisted on Solana's validator servers. In fact, if you don't have a minimum balance, you are subject to rent and eviction. We can discuss that in detail later. 
Unfortunately, as we go further into the screen, we can see that the terms are continue. Unfortunately, as we go further into the screen, we can see the terms are continuously screwed up. Down here it says add a new wallet. However, this is not actually adding a new wallet. What this is adding is a new account. This account is generated from your wallet seed phrase. So if I click up here, this is not a wallet. What this is, is an account. It also says import a wallet here. However, you're not importing a wallet. What you're doing is importing an account. And again, it says wallet name import a wallet, but it's not a wallet, it's an account. Down here it says export monomic phrase. Now this is correct. Exporting this monomic phrase exports the monomic phrase for the wallet. And they actually do say that. This will export only the accounts derived from your monomic phrase. Imported accounts, private keys, or key store files are not utilized, or not included. The reason it says this is that your wallet seed phrase can only generate the accounts that are associated with it. If I import a new account into this, your wallet's seed phrase cannot generate that account. And then down here it says export private key. Export private key of what? You're not exporting the private key of the wallet. You're exporting the private key of this specific account. So if I am in account two, this private key is different. And it even says it right here in note. This will only export the private key of the current account. So account one has a different account private key than account two. So that part makes sense, but up at the top, they have everything messed up. Select account, they name your account wallet. It should be named account. Add new wallet, you're adding an account. Import a wallet, you're importing an account. Export monomic phrase, you're exporting a wallet, a wallet's monomic phrase, and export private key, you're exporting it for the account. Besides that, Soulflare has everything that you would come to expect from a top level wallet that you could utilize today. There are a few bugs in this app. They are a little bit annoying. I will cover them more in detail in a long review. Well, that wraps up our quick overview of Soulflare today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down for me and I will answer them. And as always, have a great day.